Factor analysis is a statistical technique for identifying which underlying factors are measured by a number of observed variables. The survey includes 16 questions on client satisfaction. Likert scale was used from strongly disagree to strongly agree options. Alignment is centered. Likert scale is usually treated as interval scale, but it, it is an ordinal scale. The survey includes 16 questions on client satisfaction. Free missing values are also present, but the extent of missing values are not too bad or all are less than 10%. Survey was held among 388 participants for unemployment benefit. Total 388 participants were there. back to SPSS variable view. I don't have a clue which or even how many factors are represented by my data. I will ask my SPSS, SPSS to suggest some model. So our research questions for this factor analysis are first, how many factors are measured by are 16 questions number two which questions measures similar factors Question number three, which satisfaction aspects are represented by represented by Which factors search question one, research question two, research question three? No, let's make sure we have an idea of what our data basically look like. Inspect the frequency distributions, descriptive statistics, frequency and frequencies. Calculate minimum value, maximum value and click continue. Some important insights into a data are Values are given Valid values Missing values Which are less than 10% in each case Minimum and maximum values are also given all frequency distributions look plausible. We don't see anything weird in our data. Liquor scale values are given from 1 to 7. Fully disagree to fully agree. All variables have a value 8. No answer which we need to set as a user missing value. No answer is user missing value with code 8. No answer. And system missing values Sixteen 
sum total of missing values and system missing values is less than 10% of the total values. No answer and missing value total is less than 10% of the total. Note that none of her variable many more than some 10% missing values. No analysis, dimension reduction and click factor. Shift all the 16 questions to variable box. Click descriptive, initial value, coefficients, KMO and Wattlet test. Click extraction, unrotated factor solution, Sacri plot, continue. Then a rotation, Varimax, click rotation solution, convergence, 25 already written here. Then scores, no need to change anything over here. Then options, select exclude case pairwise, sorted by size, absolute value below 0.30. Absolute value below 0 0.30. Press OK. So this is our SPSS output data for factor analysis. Correlation matrix, KMO and Bartlett test, commonalities table, total variance explained eigenvalue table, component matrix, Sacri plot, Rotated component matrix, now to verify the data is suitable for factor analysis, let's check KMO and Bartlett test table, KMO value should be 0.6 or above should be greater than 0.6 Wattlet test of spare city value should be significant that is less than 0.05 in this example KMO value is 0 0.712 0 0.712 which is okay and Wattlet test value is Significant value is 0 0.00 which is less than 0 0.05 Therefore factor analysis is appropriate Factor analysis is appropriate is appropriate now total variance explained table our question was how many factors are measured by are 16 quotients this was our search question total 16 components are given 1 to 16 eigenvalues are given 
आइगन वैल्यू सो वट हाई आइगन वैल्यू वट इज हाई आइगन वैल्यू ए कॉमन थम रूल इज दैट सिलेक्ट कॉम्पोनेंट्स हुज आइगन वैल्यू इज एट लीस्ट वन इज एट लीस्ट वन आर सिक्सटीन कॉम्पोनेंट सीम्स टू मेजर फोर अंडरलाइन फैक्टर्स only our first four components have an eigen value more than 1 or greater than equals to 1 four components have eigen value greater than 1 other components having low quality score are not assumed to represent real traits underlying 16 questions so answer to our question is four factors no next is sacri plot which visualizes the eigen value quality scores again we see that first four components have the eigen value greater than equals to 1 greater than equals to 1 eigen value we consider these four factors as 1 2 3 4 factors as strong factors after that component 5 and onwards the eigen value drop off quickly we consider these factors as weak factors so four underlying factors account for a variance of our output variables commonalities next is commonality table so what extent do our to what extent do our four underlying factors account for the variance of our 16 input variables variance of our 16 input variables so if we predict question 1 from four components of multiple regression we will find r square equals to 0.555 which is question 1 commonality commonality is equals to r square value ranges from 0 to 1 variables having low commonality say lower than 0.40 don't contribute much to the measuring the underlying factors less than 0.40 don't contribute much to measuring the underlying factors low commonality you could consider removing such variables from the analysis but keep in mind this may no next one is component matrix we concluded that our 16 variables measure four underlying factors but which item measures which factor which factor it shows the pearson correlation between the items and the components called 
factor loading. We want each input variable to measure precisely one factor. But question number 9 correlates with component 1 and 3. Question number 3 measures components 1, 2 and 3. Again, question number 10 also measures components 1, 2 and 3. So 1, 2 and 3. If a variable has more than one substantial factor loading, we call those cross loading. We call those cross loading. The solution for this problem is rotation. Redistribute the factor loadings over the factor according to some mathematical rule that leads to SPSS. Leave this to SPSS. There are different rotation methods but the most common one is very max rotation. So the solution of this problem is very max rotation. It tries to redistribute the factor loadings such that each variable measures precisely one factor. A rotated component matrix answer our second search question. Number 2. Which variable measures which factor? Which variable measures which factor? Component 1 measured by from component rotated component matrix component 1 measured by question number 14, question number 12, question number 2, question number 15 and question number 9. Component 2 measured by question number 5, question number 3, question number 1 and question number 16. Component 3 is measured by question number 10. Question number 7, question number 8 and question number 6. And last component number 4 is measured by question number 4, question number 13 and question number 11. Component 2, Component 3 column and Component 4 column. Our last search question number 3 is what do our factors represent? Transform compute variable, target variable, component 1 in my search is clarity of information. I name co component 1 as clarity of information which is equals to mean of question number 14, question number 12, question number 2, question number 15 and question number 9. Shift question number 14, question number 12. Question number 2, question number 15 and question number 9. Calculate mean of these 5 questions, press OK. 
label it as clarity of information clarity of the of thought so mean of question number 14 12 2 15 and 9 looks like now compute variable for second component same way you can name component 2 component 3 and component 4 we will set these variables labels after actually adding the factor scores to our data to cut short the video calculate mean of other components as your assignment part now directly jumps to descriptive table for all four components descriptive table shows how we interpreted our factors calculate mean standard deviation minimum and maximum values for all four components we computed them as means they have the same one to seven scales as our input variables so final answer to our question what do our factors represent factor 1 factor 2 factor 3 and factor 4 in my example clarity of information adequacy and appropriateness factor 1 and 2 help helpfulness contact person liability of agreement factor 3 and 4 respective questions are given in output table for each component factor so finally we have done with our final question number three what do our factor represents what do our factors represents this descriptive table shows how we interpreted our factors factor 1, factor 2, factor 3 and factor 4 and value is same for every factor 388 decency and appropriateness is rated best with mean value approximately close to 5 is rated as best factor, factor number 2 best clarity of information is rated at worst with mean value of approximately 4 out of 7 points mean of factors 2 and 3 are also given thanks and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much